honestly has burned a fire in me to speak out, to voice out, because us women are honestly belittling ourselves. You are a very good cook. Go to school, even YouTube, the greatest university right now. You can Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if I'm going with that video, you can watch me. I'm back with another video, super excited. Let's have a drum roll. With Braving the Earth. By Mizinga Meru. I'm always thinking Mizinga Meru. I don't know, it just sounds Meru, sounds like it's right. And Melu sounds like you're making a mistake. The number one selling book right now on Amazon, um, written by a Zambian lady who I apparently just got to know. Um, her story has been quite an inspiration for me. So I thought of making a video of it, my interpretation of her, her book you guys a review about the book my take home and by my take home i simply mean um the greatest lessons i can get from her book so the book is a memoir which means it's her personal experience or anything she's been through that's what a memoir means in case you didn't know the book is about faith perseverance and finance ah, did i just say finance because i felt like saying faith so the book is about faith finance and perseverance and she shares her journey to getting where she is the first thing i learned is appreciate where you come from she writes stories of growing up in a farm uh, travel around the world and yet she would still go back to the farm and appreciate it like it's it's what brought her up in our generation honestly it's um, it's become a new norm where you have to show off even what you don't have but reading from her and I must point out first of all before I even get into um, details like it's good she wrote this book because we have um, a career figure a career figure first of all and and someone being a motivation to everybody because it's become the new norm to to be inspired by uh, slay queens sorry to say it but that's just the reality where someone takes a trip to dubai and you want to be like them you want the quick money so her book to me is very important because it's just given me a different insight or something to look up to and i mean there are so many females right now who are looking up to her who want to be educated who want to have the faith and who wants to have the finance so the fact that she wrote a book that's a motivation to us getting back to my first point appreciating where you come from she traveled in the uk she lived in kenya she lived in tanzania she lived um in south africa but through all these countries she still appreciated home as in that's where she comes from personally i've lived in china for like seven years and each time i'm coming home um like the the joy she puts in the book is different from my personal experience one thing that i actually reflected over to me it was like ah, i'm just looking forward to in my family and going back looking forward to continuing my life but living in the moment appreciating where you come from um being there in the farm she still actually went as much as farming but was coming from the uk you know when 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 some of us go abroad we come back and in it what 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 and we don't we forget where we come from so it was a great reflection like no matter where you are in life no matter what you, what job you have always appreciate where you come from which is something that i appreciate that i learned <music> what i can do i have to do it i have to look this way so that it speaks for me actions speak louder than words but i would say work speaks louder than words in everything that you are doing don't just profess it like i'll be rich i'll be what what are you doing towards reaching that goal from the book i learned her her maturity level even when she wasn't given the job she still was an effective worker that um that alone was a reason she was actually recommended for for her to work in new york 
so the fact that you have uh, someone above you who's actually probably not qualified for the job doesn't mean you should diminish your potential at work and relating it to also in business as as people let your um let your your client be able to appreciate your work so that means putting more effort putting more services that's my take home on that and of every opportunity i loved something from the book where she as she was working as a clerk in a bank and she would be given rotations where she has to uh, sort of fill in when someone is on leave she has to fill in to cover up for the person and she used that opportunity to literally learn everything in the bank wherever she was she was in kenya she made sure she learned something I honestly regret one thing. I had the chance to learn the piano and by now I'll be like D -d 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 musician. Like, I put other things as priority in my life when the person who could have taught me was 100% available, very close friend of mine. Just leave in a moment and you are like, ah, let me do this, let me do that. What, whichever place you are in, make use of the opportunities that are there. You can live in one country and move to another country, make use of the opportunities. I, I lived in China, for example, I can speak Mandarin. It's broad, by the way, but my, my, my years abroad could have even been better because I could have specialized in, in learning different, um, different areas of Chinese because it's really broad because there's um, engineering Chinese, there's medical Chinese and all that stuff. So I could have used that opportunity to also learn um, aside just uh, learning the normal basic Chinese we were taught in school. So I could have used that opportunity. However, there are no regrets. There are good sides also. There are things that I learned as well living abroad. But my take home from her book is a reminder that whichever place you are in, use that as an opportunity in her book she she gives an example of her working in mcdonald's while she was studying in the uk and she just uh, learned the skills and all that that's understanding the art of sales and marketing from mcdonald's for her in the future in the bank so we shouldn't be little to where we are and just be like i'm just working in mcdonald's because i need the extra cash make sure you pay attention probably you could be a ceo for mcdonald's or you could open your own company just by learning from from that that was my take home she was willing to learn and she was also willing to learn what she learned it's not um everything where she was like i'll do it my way i remember she talked about her in tanzania and her boss who would correct her and, and i think she was taking too much work at once and the boss told her what do you want to leave behind and she picked up one thing sometimes we as people are like i know what i'm doing i know i've learned this i've done this before but it's important to take advice as well learn what you can learn and, and learn what you can that's actually my motto for this year <laughs> the fact that the dad would really rebuke his children and also um at the same time provide for them as a parent i would want one day love to be a parent but as for now i'm also kind of like a mini parent um in grooming up my nieces and my nephews but as a parent it's very important that you 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 take time to groom your children you and know. her personal experience where she wanted to work in a bank and the dad went to the bank to tell them who employed her um, day of work by the way who employed her on what basis and she was quite mad at the dad but then she realized she wasn't ready of the the one year she was home the dad actually took the time to groom her into becoming an african woman in as much as technology is going above us but let's take a step back to learn, like to learn family values. That's the most take uh, I would have to learn family values. I love how she was close with her siblings. I just love the fact that wherever she was, even despite losing her mom, she just 
thought and appreciated her family. Dare yourself. Dare yourself to be better. Dare yourself to to exceed the odds. Don't limit your potential. We're capable of being above above what we can imagine she talks about her being in a boardroom probably sometimes the only female on a in a board meeting she talks about having to work for a company where they they actually thought she was junior than other people because she was black and she also talked about her going to receive awards her giving speeches and her failing as well but getting back. So the greatest lesson I learned is dare yourself to be better. Dare yourself to improve yourself even when you fall, even when you fail, even when you are afraid, even when you think you are not capable of attaining what you want. Dare yourself. He knew of her. I never really heard of her until I read this book after the hype everybody was literally talking about who's this woman and that to me is is good because we have someone who's leading by example in a way in a in a way to motivate us young people that is not all about the beautiful pictures we post on instagram this lesson was to dare myself myself to be better um, it's not all about the instagram pictures we post after the instagram pictures what next not all about Oh, I'm running a business, but what's your impact? What they are, what first CEO in Africa, first her moving out. That's her daring herself to be better. Aside from you posting pictures, aside from me posting pictures, what next? What impact are we having on the generation that's to come? Will they just look at the picture and be like, oh, she posted a picture, she was a good photographer. Oh, she was good at working out. What's the generational blessing you are leaving behind for your children? What's the legacy we are leaving behind? So this book really dared me to do even greater things, direction to honestly be different. We are in a generation where uh, quick, quick everything, honestly. But then the perseverance, the are you going to be different from everybody else? Dare yourself to be different. Dare yourself to be unique. That's my take home from this book. Very important for all of us because we can't um, deny the fact that break, play smart and faith that's working in a in an unknown environment where we have COVID, we have everything that's happening around us for us. In everything we are passionate about, it's an encouragement that we carry faith along with us. And that's one thing that I admired and loved about her, her faith, how she grew in her faith, um, constantly looking for a church in every environment. I know it, it's, it's like sometimes you are abroad and nobody's watching, you can do anything you want. But let's that whatever we believe in, in, we can live by. That's that's one thing that I really loved. Despite where she was, she always appreciated her faith. I loved that about this book. I would say this, but in, in her book, she talks about um, improving her career. She goes as far as her masters. She's working hard. She's attempting to to go on several um, several promotions, if I may put it that way. Like she's moving stage by stage in the bank, and it's an encouragement and a reminder to us. Like education, honestly, looks very useless right now. It's a fact. It looks very useless because you can wake up, start a business, become successful, and education doesn't matter. But in few years to come, I always say this, in few years to come, there will be a shortage of medical personnel, um, probably lawyers, because everybody is venturing into um, business in the name of what we love. But I would encourage somebody, um, in what you love, get a professional qualification for it. If you love um, if you love fitness, get a professional qualification for it. It doesn't mean because 
you can make money as a business person and it ends there you just forget about it improve yourself go from position to position improving your knowledge about what you're passionate about she's passionate about money and she's uh, moved gradually to different positions because she keeps upgrading herself if you are passionate about hair don't just end on you owning a salon go as far as being passionate to understand the hair texture there are people with alopecia alopecia simply means they are losing hair you could specialize in that area get a degree to educate yourself enough to open a salon a consultancy and also like a hospital for it so definitely my take home with this book is an upgrade to career an upgrade and passion for what you you love she's a banker she loves um uh, being in, in 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 the financial or or in the corporate industry what are you passionate about what am i passionate about and how can i improve myself if you are going to make it as she's been to ceo whoever you are choosing as your spouse should be able to support you throughout your career i know it's all about who's got more money now i'm being honest because i've heard of it i know it's about um dating somebody who's got money who's financially stable who's financially secure but what about somebody who supports your vision as women sometimes we we believe to ourselves as long as a man is successful i'm okay how about you and your passion can the person you want to marry support you she has a very supportive spouse men love independent women trust me even if you are a side chick right now and you're always begging for money from a guy eventually he'll get to a point where he's tired men want successful women successful minds as well somebody who will take you to another level not where i found you i even take you lower us women should woman up us women should stand up for our passions and invest in what you love get the support from family i love the fact that the dad was willing to really help us let's appreciate the opportunities that we have some of us our parents sacrificed every little thing we had to even study abroad you know what i mean so if i'm coming back i should woman up enough to appreciate what my parents have done for me this book honestly has burnt a fire in me to speak out to voice out because us women are honestly belittling ourselves you end up on a brazilian hair as your career and then what you are a very good cook go to school learn about even baking there's even youtube the greatest university right now you can learn from it let's not belittle our potential but let's improve our career by even choosing um the people who are coming to be in intimate relationships with us they should honestly support our visions if you're not supporting my my, my vision and everything that i have boy bye i've honestly ended on that boy bye if you are not in support of anything that i want to do anything that i want to improve myself into boy bye i love the fact that the husband was very supportive um could babysit when she's gone for work could babysit when she's left the country could be there for her even when she lost her parents her family ladies let's choose wisely <music> me speaks i've never met her but her book speaks an insight of who she is how good she could dare believe in herself when nobody else would believe in herself and sometimes when others believed in herself and she wouldn't she believed in them so i love the fact that she's put herself out there to be a role model like let's put it in action if i wasn't around what's the one thing that somebody can be motivated to do because they've seen me do like i said before we are in an era where um we are motivated by trips we are motivated i'm being real we are motivated by, by um 
having dinner in the sky, somebody bungee jumping. We are motivated by the lifestyle in short. But the lifestyle is just but for a short time. And the things that are motivating us, the people that are motivating us, majority of it is not self-owned, self-sponsored, or even lasting. It's like happiness for other people and in reality you are not even happy. So my greatest um, my greatest question throughout this book is who am I and then afterwards who am I motivating because I believe all of us have a purpose a purpose to to reach out to somebody you you just think oh I literally just can can braid hair I literally just can cook I literally can just uh, dress up and be there like what more what role model are you putting up we, we we love the Gucci, we love the Louis Vuitton, but the fact that you have that passion for style, you could be the next best designer and you were just there. So this book to me was um, a moment of, of reflection and I loved it because I was reading it through my, my 28 days self-care where I just took the time to reflect on my mental health, what matters to me, my finance, everything my body my spiritual life so to me it's like i was in a place where i was willing to learn so I didn't approach it with the familiarity like it's female oh she's zambian um what has she got to say maybe because she's been to many countries maybe because she's got all the money i approached it with the with the sense of you know what i'm a girl child i'm zambian i want to be better how did she get there what can i learn from her so definitely to me this book was a great way of reflecting for us females how can we be role models for people who are growing up it was a great read for me on the role model part like girl this is mzingamelu you really hit the nail just where it needed to be hit and that's in my heart out of the farm to get to the bank to get to the ceo position that's the take home that i had braving the odds simply means braving what's superior above you what you think is unreachable braving and persevering going through it going through the pain the loss the gains going through all that to be who you are to be who you are created to be to be somebody who everybody can look up to basically that's my take home and i'm so grateful i came across this book i'm so grateful i followed my instincts to buy this book because even getting this book was a little bit hard i had to wait like two weeks i had to move up and down i didn't understand why everybody was was talking about it why everybody was so excited about it. quite a book lover i'm quite a, a book person because i i learn a lot from other people and it just gives me um a moment to reflect what i'm reading and what i know so reading this book was the great greatest blessing i had in february i i, I got this in february but then i have probably made this video a little bit later so yeah reading this book to me it was good it's a memoir it's her experience about perseverance finance and faith and to me it's um it's a motivation to us young people so thank you for writing this book i literally did a review about it i'll try and insert it here about my personal absorption of this book i really loved it and yeah basically these are the things i learned so make sure you get the book basically that's what i learned from this book i hope you enjoyed this video like and share thank you for watching guys i really appreciate it i'll see you in my next video bye